Hello, I wish to register a complaint. Hello, miss. What do you mean, miss? I'm sorry I have a cold. I wish to make a complaint. We're closing for lunch. Never mind that, my lad. I wish to complain about this parrot, what I purchased not half an hour ago from this very boutique. Oh, yes, the uh, the Norwegian blue. Uh, what's um, uh, What's wrong with it? I'll tell you what's wrong with it, my lad. He's dead. That's what's wrong with it. No, no, he's, uh, he's resting. Look, matey, I know a dead parrot when I see one, and I'm looking at one right now. No, no, he, he's not dead. He's, uh, he, he's resting. A uh, remarkable bird, the Norwegian blue, isn't it, eh? Beautiful plumage. The plumage? Don't enter into it. It's stone dead. No, 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 no. He's resting. All right, then. If he's resting, I'll wake him up. Hello, Mr. Bully Parrot. I've got a lovely fresh cuttlefish for you for your show. There, he moved. No, he didn't. That was you hitting the cage. I never. Yes, you did. I never, never did anything. Hello, Polly! Testing, 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 testing. This is your nine on the clock alarm call. Now that's what I call a dead parrot. No, no. No, he's stunned. Stunned? Yeah, you stunned him just as he was waking up. Norwegian blues stun easily, Major. Um, now look, now look, mate. I've definitely had enough of this. That parrot is definitely deceased. And when I purchased it not half an hour ago, you assured me that its total lack of movement was due to it being tired and shagged out following a prolonged squawk. Oh, he's, uh, he's, uh, probably pining for the fjords. Pining for the fjords? What kind of talk is that? Look, why did he fall flat on his back the moment I got him home? The Norwegian blue prefers keeping on its back. Remarkable Berlin, it's Squire. Lovely plumage. Look, I took the liberty of examining that parrot when I got it home, and I discovered the only reason that it had been sitting on its perch in the first place was that it had been nailed there. Well, of course it was nailed there. If I hadn't nailed that bird down, it would have nuzzled up to those bars, bent him apart with its beak, and boom! Wee, 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 wee. Boom? Mate, this bird wouldn't boom if you put four million volts through it. He's bleeding demised. Oh, no, he's, he's pining. He's not pining. He's passed on. This parrot is no more. He has ceased to be. He's expired and gone to meet his maker. He's a stiff breath of life. He rests in peace. If you hadn't nailed him to the perch, he'd be pushing up the daisies. His metabolic processes are now history. He's off the twig. He's kicked the bucket. He's shoveled off his mortal coil. Run down the cotton and join the bleeding choir in Visible. This is an ex parrot. I'd better replace it then. Uh, sorry, Squire. I've had a look round the back of the shop and uh, we'll ride out of parrots. I see, I see, I get the picture. I got a slug. Pray, does it talk? Mm, not really. Well, it's hardly a bloody replacement, is it? Mm, no, I, I guess not. Well? Do you... Do you want to come back to my place? Yeah, all right, sure. <laughs>